Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver announced they were separating this week. It turns out they are not alone. The number of so-called gray divorces are on the rise in the U.S., and women may be initiating the splits. According to a new study by the AARP, a much larger percentage of women said they ended their relationships than men. Joining us now are relationship experts, Matt Titus and Cooper Lawrence. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. morning. Yeah, hi. Matt, morning, what's the guys. deal? Why are women wanting out of this stuff? <laughs> women, through their single lives, romanticize the concept of marriage. So when it actually happens, it falls so short of what they believe it's supposed to be that they get dissatisfied, upset, bored, and they want out. It's their fault. What do you think? Oh, then we're not that stupid. I yeah. think that's a really infantile idea. Infantile. I don't think women, don't think women do. Well, women don't Good. think like that. Um, yeah. Actually, the research shows that the reason why women get bored is because there's new studies about women, female sexual, female sexuality. Hmm. And what they say is that men really feel comfortable sexually when they're with somebody over and over. That way they can mm. sort of let it all hang out. Whereas women get more aroused with more partners. Wait, wait no. Hmm. Same old, same that's old. One guy yeah. monogamy for the rest of our lives. I don't, I, I'm not thinking that way. Well, I'm not, not saying same old, same old, but same I'm saying they, no, no, they feel more comfortable with the same woman. They feel like they can do things that they can't normally do I with a stranger. Are you saying they're falling into a rut or, or men are more comfortable almost with falling into a rut than women? I don't think it's a rut. I think men actually enjoy having sex with the same woman, believe it or not. I don't know. What planet are you on? <laughs> Monogamy is one of the hardest things in the world for a man to handle. It's not what the One woman shows. for the rest of your life? Really? It's tough. People do it all the time. And not very well, well as the, we're seeing. The research is just showing up in ages 50 to 54, for the most part. Mm -hmm. right. these are, people who, are these people who have just stayed together for a long time and finally decided, you know what, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm out of the door. Yeah, you're talking about a population of people who got married in their 20s. So their needs are very different by the time they reach 50. And also, you know, more, you got to go back to the research here. The research on people in their 50s is that the reason why they get divorced, they, they cite over and over unhappiness. No. They no longer feel like they want to be unhappy, plus we're living longer. Longer. Cooper, so it, it, we're not going to spend the second half of our lives unhappy. Uh, yeah, no, there's no distraction. Emptiness syndrome. The kids are gone. They're not focuses, uh, focusing on their career as much as they used to. Mm -hmm. And now they have to focus on each other. And guess what? They're not a match. What there's about no this move, though, say, to, to go younger? Cooper, on both sides of the aisle, you have men and women leaving each other for somebody younger. You're saying that's a problem. Well, I'm, that, I'm wondering, what, I'm I, wondering Cougar. why. Cougar, Cougar, Cougar. I, don't think, I think whoever makes you happy, I don't judge people about what age they end up with. As long as they're happy and it works for both of them, I don't know why anybody cares. Yeah, but what if you're about, not happy in your marriage and you, and you both feel that way, why on earth would you stay together? What about the history? What about the love? What about the, the, the time you've had together? They stay together for the children. And, and again, you got to go to the research. All the research shows staying together for the children, especially if it's a war zone, is more damaging for yeah. the for the development. For everybody. Of children and for everybody. So, what does a couple do if they're worried about boredom setting in? They're already seeing the signs down the road. Well, I would change the routine completely. You know, wear a wig, change your sex, <laughs> sex that you do, bring something into the bedroom, spice it up. Um, change the routine. Is it only about sex though? That's the thing. I think when you're looking at why you're bored, you have to ask your partner, why are you bored? Is it sex? Is it conversations? What we do on weekends? So Pinpoint what it so is, what, what, specifically mm. what routine, and then change that. You may have a pretty good sex life, but you may just hate the way you spend your free time. Right. Mm. Make an effort. Do something different but if you be, want to save but, your marriage. But do something passionate for yourself, because passionate people do passionate things and live passionate lives. You know what's fascinating? The same study shows with non-married couples, it's the guy who wants out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First That's time. right, because uh, we haven't gone through the, the marriage thing. Like We know that if we don't get married, we're safe. But the, the marriage, the marriage, the M word makes us think that you know we're going to have to be locked in. We know what it's going to be like, and we're more prepared than a woman during that time. Oh my God, we agree. And <laughs> expectations are different when you when you don't get married to yep. somebody. Expectations in that relationship mm. are completely different. We got to end leave. it there, guys. You can we're not leave. done, and we have to leave this for now, <laughs> guys. As always, Thanks, guys. Matt Titus Cooper. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.